Once again, gas, of course, up over the last month, nationally reaching a four month high. Kansans were among 10 states included in a list we probably don't want to be. Uh, last week, AAA said we saw one of the largest increases in gas just behind Ohio at a 28 cent rise and Missouri at a 27 cent rise. We are up 23 23 cents, excuse me, in the past week. Now, Sean Stewart from the AAA joins us. He's here to explain a little bit about why that may be going up. Good afternoon, Sean. How are you doing this afternoon? I'm doing great. Uh, thanks for having me on. That's it's a pleasure. Course. Now, gas, of course, is up. Everyone's probably noticed it when we're headed to the gas pumps. Um, I guess what's kind of behind that right now? Yeah, as we head into the warmer months, uh, spring is typically a time where we start seeing a, a rise in gas prices. Winter is our lowest demand period of time in terms of people out driving and using gas. So uh, generally this time of year, we start seeing an increase in demand, which we have. Uh, supply uh, domestically of gasoline has been pretty tight recently, and we've had uh, an increase in uh, crude oil prices globally. And so we factor in all those um, elements and, you know, just the basic economic principle of supply and demand. Uh, if supply is more limited and there's higher demand, generally prices are going to go up. And, and that's really what we've been seeing. Um, typically, this time of year or a little bit later in the spring, there's also the integration of a summer blend gasoline, which uh, helps with air pollution. Uh, it's required in a lot of different places across the country. And that uh, increases the, the price a little bit because it uh, costs more to refine and produce that type of gasoline. Of course, so ta gas typically um, goes up this time of year. Is it does it usually right. rise um, as much as it's happening, especially right here in Kansas? Yeah, this has been a little bit of a an anomaly in terms of a, a little bit larger jump. Uh, we've seen a couple of twenty cent jumps, uh, pretty close together here. Seems like um, typically we do see some of those overnight twenty cent jumps, maybe three or four a year, and so it has uh, been a little bit of tension getting for for all of us drivers uh, to see some of those bigger jumps happening close together. So it's uh, I think. A lot of people are just really getting out and getting back on the roads. We're now in spring break. And, you know, the people earlier in the report talked about some some people are making decisions to not travel. But, you know, back in summer of 2022, when we saw uh, the all time record high prices, um, we did surveys and most people said that they really weren't going to change their vacation plans when they had a plan that they were going to go on a trip they would still do it but maybe look for ways to save money along the way maybe stay at a, a little bit less expensive hotel or look for some cheaper or free attractions and activities to do while they were on their trip mm -hmm. and supply and demand definitely plays into right now when spring break is happening is that i guess causing some of the rise as well yeah, that just goes into some of the seasonal increase in demand for gas. You know, when the weather uh, is as nice as it's been recently, uh, coming out of winter, uh, more people are out and driving, and uh, thus there's just more demand for, for gasoline. Yeah, and I know that, you know, it's kind of nice right now, unseasonably nice um, for most of the Midwest. <laughs> yeah. But in January, I'm sure you remember as well, we had those frigid temps that kind of mm -hmm. shut down a re refinery in Indiana. It's coming back, but yeah. it's not fully recovered. Is that affecting prices for uh, drivers as well? Yeah, whenever a refinery goes offline, there can be some geographic impact uh, on gas prices. Um, I don't know that uh, a refinery in Indiana would have much impact on us here in Kansas because we have refineries in our state, and there's also refineries in the Gulf Coast, which are a lot you know, closer, which those are typically the refineries that are uh, supplying our gasoline here in, in the state. Definitely. So uh, as people are probably headed out to spring break, we, you know, we just heard they're kind of maybe adjusting those plans. Um, you have some yeah. tips as well to share with some people if they do want to save some money while out traveling to spring break. Yeah, there are things that drivers can do to uh, increase their, their gas mileage and, and maybe save a little bit of money at the pump. Some 
First of all, we suggest using retailer discounts. You know, if you've got a Dylan's card or Casey's or even Sam's Club or Costco, take advantage of those gasoline discounts. Um, you can also shop around. Uh, AAA has a mobile app which allows you to pull that up and it'll show you the gas stations closest to you and the prices for that day. So you can get a sense of where the gas prices are lowest and you know maybe you'll drive a little bit further down the road and uh, save some money on gas. You can also make sure that your car is in good working shape. Get a, get a tune up before you hit the road. Uh, make sure you have a, a nice clean air filter in your engine that'll help it uh, operate more efficiently. And one thing that people don't uh, really translate to gas mileage is making sure that your tires are properly aired up. Um, that can definitely help you get better gas mileage. And then while you're driving, you know, look for ways to, you know, try to try to stick to the speed limit as much as possible, um, because the faster you go, the the worse gas mileage you're getting. And also avoid uh, the quick jackrabbit starts off the line because that just burns a lot more fuel. And so you're using more and then having to fill up more. Yeah, definitely. Well, thanks for joining us this afternoon, John. Great tips there at the end as well. You have a great rest of your day.